welcome back to my channel anyone here from blade banners <clears throat> call out to me I really appreciate you coming and uh, I really appreciate you tagging me blade banner for this video it's nice to get involved um, just because I really love all of your channels I watch them daily um, I myself can't put out content daily or sometimes even weekly just because um, I run my own flooring business and it's just so hard to, to find the time uh, by the time I get home it's late at night and it's just you know it's hard to find the time I play with my knives a little bit get a shower and go to bed but this is the tag video for most expensive best value and cheapest knives in my collection and I'm going to start off with the cheapest knife in my collection, which doesn't necessarily mean it's the worst knife in my collection, because it's not. The cheapest knife in my collection is a Paraforce. Um, it's just a cheap, comes in a pack of 25 that they sell on the counter at most local gun shops. Um, as a nice drop point blade, 440 steel it's got a rubber insert gives you nice grip great ergonomics uh, really wonderful action I mean <clears throat> using this back lock this thing I mean it swings free like nothing at all like it's got no weight on it you can, you know, well usually it's hard to do on camera but you can spider flick it um, you can wrist flick it <clears throat> and you can drop it out by holding holding the back lock um, you know one of the cheapest steels probably you could get besides maybe some of the three or five CR MOVs but um, I've used the crap out of three of these and they work great so for five dollar knives um, as a beater throwaway you can't you can't beat them Okay, now my most expensive knife, which jumps way up on the scale, is a knife that I didn't actually purchase. I won this knife from EDC, EDC with, with JRD. And I really, really appreciate that because I've never owned a knife this expensive. Uh, so it was great to, to get to feel a higher end knife made by a higher end company. And my highest priced knife. is an Emerson Horseman or Mini Horseman I should say uh, with just a regular liner lock not the side lock and it's got that that uh, what do they call it chisel grind it's got a great blade shape it's got that wave feature um, but as far as the knife itself it's not one of my favorites the handle is just huge compared to the blade uh, which is just makes it f funny looking now I know they don't make their knives for looks, they make them for utility, and this would be an amazing knife for utility. I mean, the way you lock into this, the ergos, the thumb ramp, I mean, everything is great. The fact that it's got that wave, has it coming right out, and uh, you're good to go. Okay, now, my best budget knife, I couldn't choose between or sorry best value knife I could not choose between two different knives um, so I'm gonna show you two here um, the one is one of the most expensive knives I've bought but it is one of the greatest values as well and you can tell by back here what it's probably gonna be and it is the gent from Ferrum Forge and Mastrop now this thing has titanium handles um, I guess you would call them liners but they're more like full handles with just G10 over molds on top of them it's got a flipper action on S35 VN steel which is the best steel I've ever had on a knife um, and it really is amazing um, I beat all my knives being a flooring guy um, when I'm tearing up carpet stuff like that just about any steel I use really is going to get beat up, but this one does hold an edge great. Um, and I really like that discrete pocket clip 
for you know now the knife is really small for me I, I can still get four fingers on it with my big hands and still get an awesome grip especially with that choil that choil is one of my favorite features on any knife um, but it is a little small it's like a fifth pocket knife for me and I usually prefer bigger knives um, so it's an awesome secondary which brings in my second knife that I would consider my best value and that is believe it or not an effing grow um, and that's an effing grow with titanium handles and a d2 steel blade now i've sharpened this knife and i've used this knife quite a bit and it really is d2 steel i mean <clears throat> there i have no doubt whatsoever that this is d2 steel um, it hasn't been wet enough to see if it rusts compared to an 8CR, but it is definitely way harder. Um, and the titanium, now they say this isn't the best titanium in the industry, but it's knife handle, so what's it matter? Um, this is a T4 titanium. It holds up great, has a great action, even has the inserts, and believe it or not, this is a $45 knife. So $80.00. Which is an awesome deal but $45 for a D2 blade titanium on both sides with a nice milled design and a milled titanium pocket clip which is great this is actually the first <clears throat> titanium frame lock I've ever owned or titanium knife ever and um, it has made me fall in love now it's gonna be hard to pay full price for a titanium knife um, after deals like this I mean this thing is so smooth <clears throat> but I will eventually get the real thing um, because like Greg Medford says if I carry this around and act like it's the real deal <clears throat> I'm a scumbag um, which I'm not sure if I agree with that but I would never act like this is the real deal knife it's not marked it doesn't have anything on it I would just act like it's a really good knife which most people I know and would show it off to wouldn't care and uh, wouldn't know the difference. They don't know a $100 knife from a $5 knife. Um, actually, my helper would probably pick this knife over all of these knives um, just because it's got a brighter handle. It's got that little rubber insert. The blade shape is useful. It's a little smaller. Um, and it's got good action. I know he would like the, the fact that you can wrist flick it. But that's my most expensive, cheapest, and the two I think are the best value. Thanks a lot for coming, guys. And once again, thank you very much for tagging me, Blade Banner. I really appreciate you bringing me in on the ride. I love all of you reviewers. You all do amazing work. Um, and uh, thank you all for watching. Make sure you're safe out there. And uh, enjoy your summer, guys and gals.